Well, boys and girls, look what I'm on. It's an MT09. Oh, yes. So, today I managed to blag myself a test ride on a MT09 2019 model with 5000 Ks on the clock. So, yeah, let's. Uh, uh, I'm already in gear. <laughs> I've got used to reverse shift already. Um, mm. oh, how do I get out of this car park? Don't want to ride over that step in case I smash the engine or something. Oh, but the, the riding position's already tons better than the freaking CBR. Wait, so what is it? Which way is up again? Oh yeah, up is... Oh, quick shifter. Didn't use the clutch then. Well, that felt pretty smooth. I heard a lot of people bitching that it only worked well at high RPMs. That seemed pretty fine to me. So yeah, the quick... The, why has it got a quick shift light? The quick shift's always on, isn't it? What's the point of having a light? That seems kind of stupid. So I'm in standard mode with tracks control at level 2. I guess the guy... Um, Wants to make sure my test ride isn't too too leery, I guess. Uh, Track control kicked in then. I guess that's anti-wheelie as well, is it? It was trying to wheelie then, but the track control kind of stopped it from wheeling. We'll have to turn that shit off. Now, I've got limited time on this test ride, so I'm going to have to fucking... Avoid this red light while going into the McDonald's. Ah, uh, the exit's only one way. Oh well. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh yeah. Yes, you can feel that anti-wheelie bullshit. No, thank you, anti-wheelie. So, how do we turn that shit off? Ah, oh, but anyway, the power is, is great. It's definitely got power. Let's try that quick shift again. Third, 7,000. Yep, didn't, didn't. Whoa, that's nice. Didn't release the throttle, didn't touch the clutch. Let's try it from a slow speed. Right, so first. Smooth throttle. Yep. Throttle's completely constant that whole time. Yeah, I think it works pretty well. I don't know why people are bitching about it. Let's see what this snatchy throttle's like that everyone talks about. Mm -hmm. Felt alright to me. Right, change and try. How do you do it? Maybe you have to stop. How do you do it? Uh, hold it down. No. Hold it up. Off. Okay. Uh, I went to second again. Stupid race shift. Alright. Oh, turning a bike, a naked bike around is so good. That's so nice. He wants to wheelie like a good one. <laughs> oh yeah! She will wheelie like a trooper! Obviously that was gentle throttle and gentle clutch, but holy shit, it just came up like this kind of level, just so smooth, just... Ah, I'm gonna wheelie! Oh yeah, I like this bike already! What's the brakes like? Trax control. It's not trax control. ABS, I mean. Brakes pretty well. All right, just try 100 kilometers an hour to zero, which is zero to 60. Okay, so the rear. Yeah, the rear's kind of. The rear kicks in quite easily, but that's to be expected, I guess. Mm. 
Mmm. The layout. I feel like the layout's alright as well. Let's try that again. My fingers are a bit too big, maybe. Yeah, me like it. Oh, the seating position is so freaking good. Like, I feel I'm upright, obviously, but it just feels so real nice. Much, much more comfortable than the CBR, that's for sure. Does it have a doesn't quick shift in a second, does it? But I think it's got a slipper clutch. Yeah, the power's more than enough. Actually, it feels less intimidating than the KTM did. Even though this has got like, what, 10, 10 horsepower more, I think. It, felt, it feels way less intimidating. Oh, mama. This is a real license loser, isn't it? When you can just wheelie off the power like that. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to be in trouble if I get this. Oh, but the flickability is great too. You, know, you can just turn it around like that. I want to kind of try and try a second gear roll on, see if it will wheelie on the power in second. I'm guessing it will. Even though I like the riding position, I don't know. There's something kind of lacking. Maybe it does. It needs a screen, I guess. Let's just stop here and have a quick look at it anyway. I'm sure everyone knows what the fuck a MT07 looks, uh, MT09 looks like, but just have a quick look around it, see what she's like. So this is that fluorescent -y grey yellow colour. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty decent. Feels actually a lot smaller than I expected it to be. But I mean, it's nice. It's a nice looking bike tyres a bit rounded. I guess no one's ever taken this on a corner before. A bit squared off. Yeah, I reckon it's a decent looking bike. It needs uh, bar and mirrors, I reckon. Right, so up. Oh, that's second. Fuck's sake. I keep getting that wrong. Hey, buddy. Uh, a bit more revs, I guess. Anyway, it's not my bike. Let's not try and wheelie the fuck out of it. Let's just bring it back in one piece. And that would be <laughs> a good end to my test ride. Oh, but yes, man. Yes, baby. Me like it. I gotta stop doing that whole going into second by accident. Gonna take me a while to convert back to normal shift. So anyway, I just um, just had to stop again then because I was ah that was weird. Went into neutral instead of second. Oh, I love this quick shift though. That is sweet. Yeah, I like. It. I feel like the front end's missing something. I like it. I feel too naked. Obviously that's the whole... Oh, the shifter is a bit funny actually. Yeah, I feel a bit too naked. I feel like I do want something in front of me. Like the wind actually didn't feel too bad at whatever speed I just got up to, but... Yeah, I feel like... I feel like it could do with some more front end presence. Not for, prote not for protection or anything, just for styling. I feel like it just drops away like... <laughs> just drops away at the front oh yeah i like it though oh yeah i just realized even though i had tracks control off i was in standard mode wasn't i which ah oh, fuck's sake i did it again standard mode which is the the weaker one fuck me it pulls pr pretty damn well in standard mode so fuck knows what what is it a mode is that the the badass one 
or is it B for badass? Anyway, whichever mode is the hardcore one, Jesus, that must be so much different than this, because this feels like a monster even in standard mode. But yeah, traction control, yeah, not not a fan of that. I'm sure it's probably okay on twisty roads and maybe in the lowest level and stuff, but the fact that it stops you from wheeling so much like even if it was just a nice control wheelie coming out of a corner on like a, uh that's that road i always go to suzuka skyline there's loads of corners where the mt7 would would wheelie out of the corner and you want it to do that because it only wheelies a little bit because of like the crest in the road so if if i couldn't do that it would um it wouldn't make it much much fun oh you motherfucker Yeah, the rear ABS is rather sensitive. Don't know why fucking truck drivers always have to go in the right hand lane. What is up with that? So far, I'm pretty much in love with it. I love the riding position. Engine sounds so fucking good. Even the stock exhaust doesn't sound too bad. Right. Uh, second. Yeah, first to second is maybe a little bit iffy when people say about the quick shifter. First to second is not exactly what I would call smooth. But apart from that, it felt pretty damn good to me. Now I'm supposed to be on a, 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 a route, an actual test ride route that they showed me on the map, which I totally haven't done. <laughs> and I've been a bit longer than I said I would be. I was like, oh, I just want to take it around the block and see what it's like. I've probably been out for about 20 minutes, so hopefully they're not too pissed off. <laughs> but I mean, I personally wouldn't buy, wouldn't buy a bike unless I'd at least test ridden one. The CBR, I, I didn't. And look where I ended up. I ended up not liking it because it, it was so freaking uncomfortable. MT-07, I didn't test ride, but I test ride an XSR 700, which is pretty much the same. Almost the same. So yeah, buying an MT-09, even though it's sort of like a big boy, big brother of the MT-07, I, I, I knew I would like it from all the reviews I read and what other people have said. I knew this would be a sweet bike. But I think the main thing was just the size of it was uh, my worry. Being a tall guy, I don't want a bike that looks like a freaking mini moto when I'm sat on it. In some ways, the um, MT-07, I found it a little bit embarrassing because of my size. I just felt like, oh god, everyone's looking at me like like I'm riding a pocket bike. <laughs> but it was so so much fun that I shouldn't really give a fuck. But at the back of my mind, I was always thinking, oh god, I'm too big for this bike. But this one feels, yeah, pretty much all right. Obviously, I like to take it onto the mountains and see what it's like, which we can't. But yeah, I mean, size-wise, I think it's pretty good. The clutch is so freaking light. Don't know what that's all about. Brake feels not too bad either. I only was doing one finger braking back then, but it felt pretty decent. So, I'm back to the dealer now. It's just there, Yamaha. So, what do we think, boys and girls? Am I going to get an MT-09? Or a 790 Duke? That is the big question. But I think... Like I said, the KTM did feel a bit more intimidating, the riding position and the actual power delivery felt a bit more aggressive. Like this, I think after a, after riding this for like a day, I'd probably be feeling confident enough to practice my third gear wheelies and, and ting. So yeah, All right, I better take the camera off actually. Right boys and girls, let's end the, ca end of the video here. I don't want them seeing me seeing that I've done a video when I probably shouldn't have done so. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.